Breaking news right now regarding a spending cap on public school districts that is hampering their ability to spend money in the classroom. The State House Education Chairwoman tells 12 News tonight that they have the votes needed to hold a special session to address the aggregated expenditure limit, which districts say will cause a funding cliff next semester if it's not resolved. Team 12's Joe Dana is live in the Alert Center with the latest on this information. Joe, what are you hearing tonight? Uh, so as we've reported in recent days, lawmakers say Governor Ducey made a bargain with Democrats in June when the budget was passed that he would call a special session once the election was over. But Ducey has not done so. His spokesperson has said there aren't enough votes and that Ducey was working on it. But according to Republican State Representative Michelle Udall, a teacher and chair of the Education Committee, Udall and a lobbyist have already polled state legislators on their own. That happened in early October, and they've told the governor they have the votes, even delivering them a list. Udall says the lobbyists delivered that list of 20 senators and 43 House members who are willing to hold a special session and vote yes to lift the AEL spending cap. That would be exactly the two-thirds needed in the Senate and a little more than the two-thirds of votes needed in the House. Now, the governor has declined an interview with us about the AEL and school funding cliff. Last week, his communications director said only he was, again, working with the legislature on the possibility of a special session. We've asked Governor Ducey to respond to Udall's comments. We are waiting for a response. I can tell you the lobbyist has also confirmed to me that uh, the governor's office has this list. We'll have updates at 12news.com as we learn more. For now, we'll send it back to you. All right, Joe, thank you.